Hi, I'm Laura Jacobson. And um, when you're looking to invest in a new company, you look for several things. One of the things is an exciting business opportunity that is scalable. And if you're lucky, disrupts an industry. You're also looking for founders and a team that are smart and they really know their market. And let's face it, you're looking for somebody who you really like and want to work with. Macellum has all of these things. Their online platform will disrupt the fishing industry and change the way fish is bought and sold. Their strategy is to help fishermen make more money while also helping buyers by reducing the cost of fish. The potential reach is global. The potential commodities are endless. And the potential to disrupt and to capture market share is inevitable. Headed up by Rasmus, a fisherman's son, and a PhD in statistics, and rounded off with two killer techies. The team have built an amazing platform that delivers real-time information to fishermen on their boats. Look, these guys have the connection to make this work. They know fish. They have salt water running through their veins. And if you've met Rasmus, there's a uh, strong likability to his character, his positive attitude, and his enthusiasm for fish is uh, pretty contagious. And if you haven't met him, well, now you're going to right now. It is my privilege to introduce Rasmus Christensen, the CEO and founder of Macellum. For those loving and kind words, you almost made the pitch, so I don't really have to say a lot, but I'll do it anyway. So, uh, is, yeah, so this works. This is a picture of my dad aboard his fishing vessel. Um, and for 15 years, he was a part of the Danish fishing industry. And he faced all these problems that fishermen face. Is this working? Yes. Super. He has faced all these. Can I get the other microphone? This is shit. Just. Just try, no, 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 don't go to the middle. Just, just try to talk straight up. Super. Um, yeah, this is, uh, let's restart. This is a picture of my dad aboard his fishing vessel. For 15 years, he was part of the Danish fishing industry, and he has risked his life to catch these fish, go out to sea once a week, and then go back again and sell them at auctions. As Laura said, I'm here to present Macellum, a product that's gonna radically change the way fishermen interact with these auction houses. A quick show of hands, how many of you know the Danish fishing industry? <laughs> Not a lot, super, there are a few. Um, but for short, on the, on the left we have the fishing vessels and on the right we have these buyers who have to buy the fish. In the middle we have the auction houses and given that they have a monopoly on fish trade, they can charge a huge commissioning fee as high as 18%. And it's not only a Danish problem, all these auction houses, which are plotted on the map, they all charge a huge commissioning fee uh, from the fish sold by the fishermen. Basically, what we do is that we go onto the uh, we, uh, sorry. Um, what we do is we go onto these um, we we go onto the auction houses' websites. We get the pricing information, and we then compare it to what they have in their log system. Fishing vessels nowadays is more, almost like a starship enterprise and they, they got computers aboard. So we developed the products where, yeah, where, as I said before, they log into the system, upload their catch, and then they get an instant overview of the value of their fish uh, in all the harbors and connected to the, no to the northern sea. 
Um, yeah, and it's not good to be a fisherman and then not know the price tomorrow, but only know the price to t today. So we have developed a system that can predict the price tomorrow, which means the fishermen have a 24-hour forecast of the price to tomorrow. What's that wishing set? Um, yeah. Um, the number's short. There are 110,000 vessels in Europe, and last year they generated 7.1 billion uh, euros in revenue. And take 18% of that, that's 1.2 billion uh, removed uh, by the fish of sorry, removed from the fishermen. So our business model is really simple. The fishermen pay 500 euros a month to use our web service at 10% of the European fleet. That's five and a half million euros per month uh, of revenue. Uh, yeah. And as short, the team, as Laura said, I'm the CEO, I'm son of a fisherman. I'm currently doing a PhD in statistics. I have two super awesome uh, software developer support who has 30 years of experience and then yesterday we signed the most connected sales guy on the west coast to do sales of our system and we're looking at someone who can help us uh, build the business. Um, our go to market strategy is really simple. This product is simple. We are going to disrupt the entire industry. The guy who runs World Fishing today is the sales guy. We have hooked us up and we're going to use him for exposure to all the fishermen in the world. And lastly, on 7th of October, we're going to launch, go to the Dan Fish Expo in Alba, the biggest fishing expo in the world. Um, and then everything's just going to snowball from there. In short, we already have three vessels signed up. The top one is one from Copenhagen, the two one is from my hometown. And annually, they sell fish, uh, 2,400 tons of fish a year. Really awesome guys. Um, and just for short, the money in this are really, really huge, as I said before. This is one of the vessels from before. La this month alone, in August, they lost 40,000 euros by going to different harbors. And this product is potentially, for 500 euros, you're going to earn 40,000 euros. It doesn't take a PhD in statistics to see that that's a good num number. The vision is even larger than just showing price information. We have this information platform, which is step one. Step two, as soon as we have the customer support, we begin to know how many fish they have, where they are, where they're going, and where they're going to be. That means we can call these buyers of fish, and we can, and we can facilitate trade direct between the fishermen and the buyers. Step three is where it gets really interesting. Uh, as soon as the fishermen have caught the fish, they have gutted them, put them on ice, they can put them for sale, and that opens up for an entire new commodities market of live fish trading. As I said, um, the f it, between our three founders, we've raised 200,000 euros. We're going to bootstrap this for six months more, but if you think it's interesting, come talk to us. Q1, 16, we're going to raise some serious money because we're going to go international. This is my phone number, this is my email, contact me, I'm really cool, really sweet, and this is nice. <laughs>